Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Salted Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said views fields of cooperation with the Minister of State at the Foreign Ministry of Switzerland and former President of the Swiss Confederation. Board of Directors of Public Authority for Social Insurance reviews manpower requirements presented by General Federation for Oman Trade Union. And celebrating reassurance on the health of His Majesty the Sultan, processions of joy continue in the governorates of the Sultanate. Those are the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has received a cable of thanks from His Excellency President Joko Widodo of Indonesia in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his election as a President of the Republic. His Highness Said Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, received in his cabinet today His Excellency Yves Rossier, Minister of State responsible for political affairs at the Foreign Ministry of Switzerland. His Highness welcomed the guests and his delegation and talks covered aspects of existing cooperation between the two countries and ways of activating them after Switzerland had opened an embassy in the Sultanate. The guests praised the achievements in the Sultanate and active role it played at external level thanks to wise leadership of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. Talks also covered a comprehensive review of situations in regional and international arenas and efforts exerted to enhance understanding among countries. His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, received in his cabinet His Excellency Adolf Oye, former President of the Swiss Confederation. During the meeting, they reviewed increasing cooperation relations between the Sultan and Switzerland and matters of mutual concern. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Yusuf uh, Fertas, Council General of Switzerland in the Sultan. Manpower requirements presented by General Federation for Oman Trade Union topped discussions of Board of Directors of the Public Authority for Social Insurance at his fourth meeting of the year chaired by His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasr al-Bakri, Minister of Manpower and Chairman of the Authority's Board of Directors. The Board directed to study these labor requirements within the upcoming actual study at the beginning of next year. The meeting also discussed draft budget for next year of the authority and investment opportunities proposed to enhance the authority's investment returns. Within the context of the Sultan celebrations of the 44th Glorious National Day, General Federation for Oman Trade Union signed an agreement to construct an investment building and permanent premises at Ghala Heights in the Wilayat of Bosha on behalf of the union. It was signed by Nabhan bin Ahmed al Batashi, Chairman of the General Federation for Oman Trade Union, and was signed on behalf of the implementing company by its chairman. The agreement came to strengthen union's role, to care for interest of the manpower and to raise productive level at establishments of the private sector. The Sultan represented in the Ministry of Social Development and a number of other bodies participated in the Gulf Families Exhibition in the state of Qatar. It came to introduce handicrafts and traditional products. It was considered an opportunity for participants to market their products and exchange expertise. The exhibition stressed on the significance of preserving traditional and crafts products. Aspects of uh, military cooperation existing between the Sultan and South Africa, top matters discussed by His Excellency Said Badr bin Zaud bin Harib al Busaidi, Minister responsible for Defense Affairs with General Soli Zakaria Shok, Chief of Staff of National Defense Forces of South Africa. A number of matters of mutual concern between the two countries were also discussed. Matters of joint concern in military field were the focus of talks of Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith Andabhani, Chief of Staff of Sultan's Armed Forces, with Rear Admiral Antoine Bosson, Commander of French Forces in the Indian Ocean. 
A number of matters of joint concern, top talks of Air Vice Marshal Mathur bin Ali al Ubaidani, Commander of Royal Air Force of Oman, with Rear Admiral Antoine Bosson, Commander of French Forces in the Indian Ocean, and his delegation. Exchange of points of view in a number of matters of joint concern top the meeting of Rear Admiral Abdullah bin Khamis al Raisi, Commander of Royal Navy of Oman, with Rear Admiral Antoine Bosson, Commander of French Forces in the Indian Ocean. His Excellency Yves Rossi, Minister of State responsible for political affairs in the Foreign Ministry of Switzerland, acquainted during a visit to Sultan, uh, to Sultan Zan Forces Museum with historical manuscripts and miniatures which reflected diverse Omani architectural arts at Beit el Falaj Fort. The visit also included a tour that took him to numerous wings of the museum and had detailed explanations of development attained by Sultan Zan Forces during the glorious reign. The guest expressed his delight and what he had seen of historical military heritage and civilizational heritage enjoyed by the Sultan as well as features of progress and growth. General Soli Zakaria Shock, Chief of Staff of National Defense Forces of South Africa and his delegation visited Command and Staff College at Beit El Falaj Camp and listened to a briefing on the college and general curricula of qualification and training as well as its facilities of halls and study classrooms besides modern information technology equipment. The commander of the college accompanied the guest on a tour of utilities and facilities of the college. Activities of Daba through history seminar in the Wilayat of Daba concluded after two days of discussions and works papers academics and specialists from a number of scientific and research institutions in the Sultan participated in this seminar. His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Ali al qatabi advisor of the state, presided over the ceremony. During the two days, six work papers on the Wilaya of Daba were presented. The seminar in its last day discussed the economic life, the customs and traditions in the Wilaya in addition to work papers under the theme Daba in the Renaissance era. At the end, researchers and participants were honored. Providing supplies and putting the scientific framework for medical response and public health topped the history of health meeting. During the meeting, the latest developments and preparing for emergency management center were discussed. Preparing plan is to enhance abilities and find the necessary measures to face or reduce the risk of chemicals and biological materials and nuclear radiation. The preparing stages are three, putting the plan to face the crisis, providing the necessary resources to face it, and plan training. The competitions of the Regional Municipalities and Water Resources Month continued with active participation of all government, civil and private sectors. The competition is 27th edition and through the final stage, the final evaluation committee visited the qualifying wilayas in the governorates of al Wusla and South and North Sharqiyya. The visit covered the wilayas of al Jazir, Jailan Ban Ibu Hassan, Sur, Ibra and Mulaibi. Still to come here on News Bulletin, Activities for children to share their love and joy for His Majesty the Sultan are organized in the private schools in the Governorate of Muscat. Welcome back to the news from the Sultans of Oman Television. 
On the occasion of reassuring on the health of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Excellency Yusuf bin Ali bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, hosted a dinner banquet attended by senior officials at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Excellency's ambassadors accredited to the Sultanate, heads of departments and offices, as well as personnel of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Literary Society organized a poetic evening celebrating royal appearance of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. The poets delivered poems praising His Majesty the Sultan and the achievements realized during His Majesty's glorious reign at all levels and walks of life. Citizens of the Ulayat of Khabura in the government of North of Batna organized a procession of allegiance and gratitude for the builder of Oman's Renaissance and its leader, his Majesty the Sultan. During the procession, the citizens expressed their happiness on the occasion of 43rd, 44th National Day and what was achieved in the Sultanate of accomplishments that aim to spread prosperity and stability for the citizens. The citizens of the Lai of Yangpul in the Governorate of Lahira organized a loyalty and gratitude procession for His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, expressing their happiness with the reassurance of His Majesty's health. Huge crowds of citizens participated in the procession, including men, women and children, who carried pictures of His Majesty and hoisted flags of the Sultan, cheering sincere greetings and best wishes to His Majesty, the beloved leader praying to Almighty to protect His Majesty as the guardian of this country and his people. Citizen of the Wilayat of Wadi Bani Khalid in the Governorate of North Sharqiya organized a procession of allegiance and gratitude to express their love and loyalty for the beloved leader, His Majesty the Sultan. During the procession, they raised portraits of His Majesty the Sultan, carried thanks and gratitude banners for the country's monarch. Participants chanted national songs and students recited some national poems. In the Wilayat of Rahyut in the government of Lafar, the citizens organized a loyalty and gratitude procession for His Majesty the Sultan. During the march, the citizens sang songs of happiness and carrying portraits of His Majesty and the Omani flags. It came to express their happiness with the reassurance of His Majesty's health and prayed to Almighty Allah to bestow upon His Majesty with good health and long life. The Omani Women Association in the Wilayat of Salada organized a religious chanting evening, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty Sultan Qaboos and to bestow him with good health, long life, and a safe return to the Sultans. Citizens of the Wilayat of Ya'lan Bani Ibu Hassan in the Governorate of South Charqiyah organized a procession of allegiance and gratitude for the builder of Oman's Renaissance and its leader, His Majesty the Sultan. They expressed their love for the beloved leader and their delight for His Majesty's speech. It was accompanied by Omani singing arts and poetry. Meanwhile, a number of camel owners chanted supplications of Almighty Allah to bestow upon His Majesty good health and long life. A procession of allegiance and gratitude was held in the Niabat of Al Ashkara at the Wilayat of Ya'lan Bani Bu'ali in the Governorate of South Sharqiya. The citizens expressed their love and loyalty for the beloved leader, His Majesty the Sultan, as well as carried pictures of His Majesty and hoisted flags of the Sultan, cheering sincere greetings and best wishes to His Majesty the beloved leader, praying to Almighty to protect His Majesty as the guardian of this country and his people. To express their love and loyalty for the beloved leader, His Majesty the Sultan, citizens of the Niabat of Tui in the Wilayat of Sur organized processions of allegiance and gratitude, requesting Almighty Allah to protect His Majesty the Sultan and bestow upon him good health and long life. In Qalhat, in the Wilayat of Sur, a procession of allegiance and gratitude was held on the occasion of reassuring on the health of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. It came to showcase the citizens' joy, cheering His Majesty's name and asking Almighty Allah to return him safe to his homeland. The procession of allegiance and gratitude in Wadi Bani Umar village at the Wilayat of Saham expressed the citizens' 
love for His Majesty the Sultan. The participants repeated cheers of loyalty and gratitude in the procession requesting Almighty to protect His Majesty with good health and long life. During the procession's number of poets expressed their happiness through words on this occasion. A procession of allegiance and gratitude was held in the, in the Niabat of Hafid, in the governorate of Bremi. The citizens expressed their love and loyalty for the beloved leader, His Majesty the Sultan, as well as carried pictures of His Majesty and hoisted flags of the Sultanate, cheering sincere greetings and best wishes to His Majesty, the beloved leader, praying to Almighty to protect His Majesty as the guardian of this country and his people. The Ministry of Education, represented in a Directorate General for Private Schools, organized in Muscat a number of activities for children to share their love and joy for His Majesty the Sultan. It included drawing, coloring and chanting national poems, in addition to hoisting the flag of the Sultan. The Afghan community in the Wilayat of Bremi organized a procession of allegiance and gratitude to express their happiness of the reassurance of His Majesty's health and pray to Almighty Allah to bestow upon His Majesty with good health and long life. During the procession, they carried pictures of His Majesty and hoisted flags of the Sultan and Afghanistan, cheering sincere greetings and best wishes to His Majesty, the beloved leader, guardian of this country and his people. It was also accompanied by some Afghan traditional dance. And now for the general weather forecast, clear skies will prevail over the Salta with chances of high cloud accumulation over the coastal areas of the Arabian Sea. Winds will be northeasterly light to moderate along the coastal areas while it will be north to northwesterly light to moderate in the rest of the Salta. Seas will be slight to moderate with a maximum wave height of one and a half meters. This is the Sultan of Oman television. Before we enter tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Highness Said Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said views fields of cooperation with the Minister of State at the Foreign Ministry of Switzerland and former President of the Swiss Confederation. Board of Directors of Public Authority for Social Insurance reviews manpower requirements presented by General Federation for Oman Trade Union. As celebrating reassurance on the health of His Majesty the Sultan, processions of joy continue in the governorates of the Sultan. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here in the newsroom and studios. We wish you all a very good weekend. Good night.